Okay, the budget hunting rifle showdown. Uh, when I started this project, I wanted to assemble some budget price bolt action rifles with scopes that were $350 or less. Um, I came up with the Savage Access, the Mossberg Patriot Hunter, the Thompson Center Compass, which is the only gun that didn't come with a scope. Uh, but I added a scope of equal quality and kept the price uh, in the same thing there at 300, less than 350. And two Remingtons, the 770 and the 783, which uh, have gotten a lot of notoriety and publicity. So those are the five guns uh, we're going to look at and do a comparison, or have been looking at. I've done an overview on all of them. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, because people are asking me all these questions, you know, which one's the best, or what this and that. Uh, this is the introduction video uh, of how I'm going to review all five of them together. And again, a lot of... The, the thoughts and likes, dislikes, pros and cons on this, a lot of it's personal preference. Let me say that any one of these guns, any one of these five guns, is adequate for an expensive gun. You know, the synthetic stocks and that, you don't have to worry about damaging a beautiful bird's eye maple wood stock that, you know, is expensive. Um, the scopes are all the same. They're all generic foreign-made scopes. And the guns also have features of like uh, the drop-down box magazines and that, and that is uh, to simplify manufacture and that lowers the cost of the guns. So all of these rifles are in the same class, and they're pretty much equal, okay, in terms of, you know, design and quality, all right? There are some that have some smaller features that are different, and, um, you know, the stock shapes are a little different, but we'll, we'll kind of go over that, uh, the pros and cons of each one of these. Um, so... Like I said, they're all adequate for what they do and the price they come into. So it's kind of a lot of it is a personal choice of what um, feels better to you in terms of the shape of the stock or how the bolt operates or where the safety is and the scope. So what I'm going to do is cover in very short videos, like uh, the first one I'll do is the calibers. Okay. Now, I have these in uh, the one Remington, the 770s and 243. Uh, I have two 308s, the 783 and the Compass uh, as a comparison. And I got the Mossbergs in 270 and 6.5 Creedmoor. We'll go over calibers uh, because these are all guns in about six, seven pound class of weight. And if you start getting into some of the larger calibers, like 30 odd six or something, that will make a difference. But these here are kind of the common, more common ones 308, 270, and 6.5 Creedmoor are kind of are more popular, may I say, you know, and not too terrible in terms of uh, recoil and that. that. That may play into a factor when you get into the larger magnum calibers, which people like and there's nothing wrong with it. These rifles are kind of on the lightweight side for getting into that. So what I'm going to do is have a video and just kind of break down, like I'll cover scopes compared to scopes, stocks compared to stocks, and tell you that uh, bolts, position of the safeties. Um, I'll cover like calibers in one thing, just a generalization, and then any special features which, um, you know, two people, you know, to some people may be uh, a deal breaker or maker, you know. There's a couple of these guns that have some special features, really not much in terms of performance, but 
it may be something you'd is more important to you than not having it. And uh, then what I'm going to do is probably next weekend when I got some time off. Uh, when you come into accuracy, a lot of the videos and that people want to see you shoot it, and they want to know which one's the most accurate out of the box, and that's kind of hard to just pick one because um, there are variables and there are people out there who've made videos showing you know if you hand load for any of these you can spend the time and money and find a particular bullet and load combination that I think any one of these guns will shoot a ragged hole with five shots okay that can be done with anything but another thing these particular guns are targeted to people who are not reloaders or have a lot of reloading equipment or targeted for a guy who just wants to get into an entry-level gun to go hunting with just to hunt casually you know he doesn't want to have hundreds of dollars of tools for mounting scopes or hundreds of dollars of tooling for reloading his own ammo he just wants to get the gun not spend a ton of money go and buy some ammo off the shelf and shoot it so, when it comes to doing an accuracy comparison, what I think I'm going to do is just show you um, how each of these guns shoot with one type of ammo. And what I have here is the federal, non-typical uh, hunting ammo. And I'm going to get it in each caliber, and we're going to use this as a baseline. Now, it isn't probably the, the truest comparison of accuracy, but we're all going to use this, I'm going to use the same type of ammo. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, right now Federal's got a thing to give you a file of rebate on up to 10 boxes of ammunition. So these $15, $17 box of ammunition end up being $10, $12. Uh, so that's another thing in mind. It's quality ammo. And it's not that expensive. And to use it as a baseline, um, you know, you can tune these guns up and, and get them to shoot better with either reloads or one guy went and if you buy the max grade 308 ammo, which is about $30 a box, 20, you know, the gun will shoot a little ragged hole. Okay, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start and just cover side by side comparison. I have fired all of these guns and have some sort of an idea how they operate and what little quirks they all have. And I'm just going to make a series where I cover, like I said, scopes, stocks, triggers, all that. And then that way uh, we'll get up to where we go and shoot them and then we'll do a conclusion on this. But that's where we're going. So enjoy the series. I'll put little cards that'll pop up and you can connect, you know, they'll all be connected so you can find them. And uh, I hope you enjoy it and find it informative.